but here we are playing an original Xbox game. As you see, the, look at that. This is the original like Xbox loading screen on the Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy right now. Oh my day! Look, Xbox One controller, sinking data for Star Wars Battlefront. Whoa! Look at the graphics, boys. Well, hello there. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back to a brand new video where today is a very exciting day because I'm going to be showing you, yes, the people watching this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to play some of the original Xbox games on your Xbox One via backwards compatibility. The update was live a few weeks ago and some of you were going, Matt, where is the video? You normally do a how-to video on all these type of updates. Well, guys, lately I've been trying, or well, sourcing, going to shops, looking on eBay, Gumtree, pretty much websites to find some of the original Xbox games, which are currently available on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility. Like I said, I think there's around 21, 22 games or so. And to be honest, trying to find some of those games were pretty damn tough. Now I have three current Xbox games, yeah, three original Xbox games right here. The first game we have is Star Wars Battlefront 1. Now this game is backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I'll be showing you this today in terms of how we can play Star Wars Battlefront 1 on the Xbox, on the Xbox One, if that makes sense. And who remembers this? I mean, this is a classic. Open it up, right? And you have a manual. Who remembers a manual? That's pretty crazy. And by the way, it says on the back here, players wanted to in-game digital system link to the 24 online multiplayer the original xbox had online multiplayer look at they look so the orange features were xbox live which is crazy so imagine we got this game online now the next game which is also backwards compatible which i have purchased is ssx3 now i remember this game one of the best probably one of the probably still but one of the classic snowboarding games and as you can see there so this game as well is also backwards compatible on your xbox one the early backwards compatibility. Now, the next game I purchased hasn't been announced as of yet, but I'm hoping with Xbox and the power Microsoft have is that eventually all, if not all, but majority of the original Xbox games should be backwards compatible with the Xbox One. So before the prices go up, because, you know, people do know about this. I mean, I, I paid a, a, a extortion amount of money for these two games. The game which I bought for a couple of pounds is 007 Nightfire. Now, a classic James Bond game, very big fan of this. And to be honest, I'm hoping this game is backwards compatible with the Xbox One very soon. But today is all about showing you how you can play original Xbox One games. Original Xbox One games? No, that's the reverse. To play some of the original Xbox games on your Xbox One via backwards compatibility. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, comment down below your thoughts regarding this. And without further ado, let's show you how you can play some of the original Xbox games on your Xbox One. So the first thing you need to do is obviously buy a game or have a game which is backwards compatible on your Xbox One. I'll leave a link down below to the article. So you can check to see which games are available on your Xbox One. But what you need to do is open up the game, take out the disc, turn on your Xbox One, and then simply put it in. Just like an original Xbox One game, simply put the disc into your Xbox One, and then this is where the magic happens. So when you're on the Xbox One dashboard, simply head down to the first section, head over to the right, and you should see install disc. So let's click A. Here we go, installing this. Oh, an update for this Xbox One. To play this game, you need to download a free update. It will take up to two, what? 2.9 gigabytes of space. Ah, right, so we're downloading a new update at the same time. But as you can see, if we head over to My Games and Apps, here we go, here we go. As you can see here, already got a free 360 games, which are backwards compatible on the Xbox One, but, there it is. That's what the 360 looks like. This is the Xbox Star Wars Battlefront 1. Currently installing right now. I'm very excited. If I click onto the game itself. Okay, yep. It's telling me. Okay. It's pretty much installation. In installation? In installation. It's installing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, some of you might be going, Matt, what if I don't have the disc? Well, you can actually buy original Xbox games from the store. So, if we head over to... I'm hoping they have, like, a category for, like, backwards compatibility. But you never know. You never know. But anyway, where should we go? I think we should go to... Let's, uh, let's browse games. Let's just browse the games and let's see if they have a category for backwards compatible. If not, 
then we will just search for like Star Wars, we will search for SSX Free, because pretty much you should be able to buy those games on the Xbox Store, because that's what you could do with the Xbox 360. But um, I don't think they, they, they have like new games. Come, uh, do they have any like games in terms of like backwards compatibility? I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. I don't see it, but what we'll do is let's see if we can actually search for the game which we're playing right now. So let's search for Star Wars. And let's see if... Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this, boys. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've uh, got the game over here. Star Wars... What am I trying to say? Star Wars Battlefront. But how much is Star Wars Battlefront 2? Because this was going for about £25 online. And how much is it here? C price. Working. Work, 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 work. Do you remember that? Who remembers that song? That was a pretty catchy song. Not really my cup of tea, though. What? Really? Wow. So this game here is £9. On the eBay and Gumtree and pretty much online, a used version of a physical copy, so a game similar to this, a physical version, was going for about £25. Now, I bought this game for about £14, £15. Now, I'm guessing that I should have really bought it on the uh, on the Xbox. Because, uh, I mean, if Star Wars Battlefront 2 was like £8, can I... Oh, it won't let me... Sh oh, here we go. Uh, where, where did I go? Ecstasy price? Here we go. Ecstasy price. How much? I spent £15, near enough. Nine pounds, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think all of the games are nine pounds. But we do have some screenshots. Like the game is downloading. It's it's all good to go. These are some of the screenshots. Whoa. It's gonna be interesting for sure. If you do want to see a video of me playing Star Wars Battlefront, the original on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility, then let me know because I will then do a video. So if this video gets like a decent amount of comments or thumbs ups or Basically, if anyone, even if one person says, Matt, I want to see some gameplay from Star Wars Battlefront 1 on the Xbox One, then please let me know. As you can see there, the game is downloading. I'm very excited. And I think pretty much how it all works is you simply put the disc in. Xbox goes, okay, you own this game. And pretty much it's downloading the game from the Xbox Live Store. And yeah, we're going super, super fast. And the game should be downloaded in the next few seconds. As you can see, my internet speed is very, very fast. But as you see there, the game is almost downloaded. Oh my days, I really hope James Bond, 007, Bond, is it, was it Bonfire? No, Nightfire. I remember playing Nightfire on the original Xbox with my friends. He used to live down the road near me. I'm used to like split screen, but those were the days. Split screen were the days. The game, as you see, so close now. Fingers crossed that everything does work. But it's going to be interesting. I used to have an Xbox One X. If you've seen that unboxing video. But I sold it straight away. Because I thought you know, it would be easier. Just to keep the original Xbox One. Because I simply just wanted an unboxing video. But anyway that's the story for another day. But it, anyway. If we press hold the Xbox Live button to launch. Here is Star Wars Battlefront 1. On the Xbox One. I'm intrigued to see what we can even do. But here we are playing an original xbox game as you see the, look at that this is the original like xbox loading screen on the xbox one ladies and gentlemen this is crazy right now oh my day look xbox one controller sinking data for star wars battlefront whoa look at the graphics boys wow and girls and girls out there watching star wars battlefront 2000 was it 2004 trademark interesting press start button okay we can pick a proof. Wow. And then if I if I mean if I double tap, no. Nope. Used to be if you hold it down, you would get like the like the Xbox 360 dashboard. But you used to press a button which would enable you to bring up the um, the Xbox homepage. But I can't seem to press any buttons since we're doing that right now. Um. Nope. Maybe they don't have this for the original Xbox, but there we go, guys. We're playing Star Wars Battlefront on the Xbox. Very, very easy indeed. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave massive thumbs up. Subscribe to the new comment down below your thoughts regarding this. 
But anyway, like I said, if you do want to see a video, a let's play on the channel, then please let me know. But anyway, have a wonderful day, and as always, see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.